going on guys welcome back to tactical talks so in this video i wanted to talk to you guys about holding your rifle so i've done a couple videos where i'm shooting stuff like that and i had a friend of mine who emailed me and said i noticed you still hold your rifle the way we did in the marine corps and it was kind of funny to me because when i was taught to shoot even as a kid and in the military i always placed my hand right about here so when i'm holding my rifle i'm always right here out of habit now is that the best way to hold it i don't know that's what we're going to talk about for me if i have my choice of shooting i like to stabilize my shot so if i'm hunting or whatever the case is then of course I'll get in a prone position, I can get in a sitting position, kneeling, I can get in a bunch of different positions that give me a lot more stability than I have when I'm standing. Now, depending on what you're doing, it's going to depend on the way you should be holding your gun. For me, when I train, majority of what I do as law enforcement, I'm going to be moving and shooting. So I have to get used to standing and shooting. Now, I hold it here. Is this the best way to hold it? You be the, you know, I'll let you be the judge of that. If you watch a lot of videos, you'll see guys nowadays, they grab way out here, up top, and they're over here, right? The more I looked into it, I watched a video with uh, Jerry Metchelet talking, and he was talking about a tripod. If you had a tripod and you had it really small down here at the base with little bitty legs, which would be the equivalent of here, when you go to push that thing over, it's gonna rock a lot easier than if you had legs higher up top for more stability. So when you're all the way out here, it's easier to swing and stop, swing and stop, than if you were here and you have that swing motion. Now, before anybody says anything, there are rounds in this magazine, but the gun is clear. We're not gonna sit here and go through all that. We're just gonna be adults about this and not point this at anyone. There's nobody downrange behind me or behind where I'm facing. I've got a habit of saying downrange, but there's nobody behind me, so that's not an issue. So as far as grabbing out here, if you look at the science behind it, I guess, that's the better way to hold it when you're standing. Now, if you watch videos, you'll see a lot of people, they'll do what I'm doing here. I grab here, kind of just to support my weapon and hold it. I don't know if you guys have ever held a fully loaded AR-15 for long periods of time down here in the ready position. Well. It gets heavy. It's only seven pounds, roughly, depending on how many you know rounds you have in, extra magazines, whatever accessories. But it's only seven to ten pounds. But when you hold it like this for an extended period of time, it starts getting really heavy, really fast. That's why we have slings. But for me, I don't just like having my weapon hanging, so I'm usually holding it up top. But back to this. This is more of a law enforcement style, kind of staying in nice and tight clearing rooms, coming around the corner. I don't know what the right way is. And that's really what this discussion is about. Is this right? Is this right? Is this right? You know, over the top. I might be even doing that wrong. I don't shoot like that. I don't know. In the Marine Corps, there's even what we call the C-grip. When you're shooting, you hold the gun right here, nice and tight. And I can see over my hand, through my sights, and everything is stabilized, nice and tight in here. So I'm minimizing the muscle and using more of my actual frame here. So when I'm aiming, it's easier for me to hold everything tighter together. So the only thing I'm really worried about is if you have a strong base, is a little bit of wind rocking me kind of back and forth. But as far as the weapon's concerned, you have less moving parts, so it's easier to stay on target. But again, that's a standing still, not moving type of shot. I've even seen guys that they just rest their hand like this and they just rest the rifle or shotgun, whatever they're shooting on their hand just to keep this up. They're not necessarily worried about this being a control hand. It's just a brace. Same as if you set it down on a table, on a bipod or whatever else you're shooting. But that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about. If you're shooting standing, this probably will give you the most stability, and maybe that's the best way to do it. I know a lot of guys are like, oh, well, 
people only do that because they want to look like operators. They want to look like, you know, Mr. Tactical on YouTube, whatever the case is. I don't shoot like that, so I don't know. I was taught as a kid right around here. This is how I learned in the Marine Corps. This is how I shot. This is how I shoot now. So that's how I do it. But leave a comment down below. How do you guys hold it? Do you hold the handguard? Do you hold the mag well? Do you hold high on the handguard? Are you resting? Are you C-clamping? There's a million different ways. What it really boils down to is one, what kind of shooting are you going to be doing? But even more important is what works for you. I can sit here and talk till I'm blue in the face and say, you should do this, you should do that, you should do this. But the reality is, I can sit here and tell you the way I do it a million times. If it doesn't work for you, then it just doesn't work for you. You have to find what works for you. You have to do what's best for what you're doing. The best way to figure that out is training. Get out there, shoot your rifle, shoot your weapon. I still have a couple that I haven't shot, so I'm somewhat of a hypocrite right now. But go out there and shoot and figure out what works for you. But comment down below what works for you guys. How do you hold it? What am I doing wrong? Because I know somebody's got a comment about you did this wrong, you did that wrong. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you on the next one.